Hello everyone, AJ on here, another company years who replaced. Well on the left side, as the Soviet player, I have no idea how to spell your name. Perhaps I should have put it into Google Translate. I'm sorry. Spawn as his ally or her ally, we have Jungle Wolf. Fresh conscripts have arrived. Over the left side as a dual austere player, we have QSC as well as the Marine King. Looks like my audio is a little bit too loud. Sound. Yeah, that's way too loud. And there we go. I think. I get the background music fine, so sh it'll be fine. Perhaps once the uh, gunfire, gunfire starts uh, starting up, then I can easily tell if it's if I need to uh, change the volume. Maybe it's a little bit too quiet right now, but let's just go ahead and see. Pioneers here. We do got no doctrinal lock-ins. We could see inter-Soviet industries, Soviet combined arms, as well as armored assault. I would see armored assault or Soviet industry first. I don't really see artillery being all too effective. This map's too wide open. While it's good width for it, it's just you can't really get any good, get any good funnels for the uh, for the artillery, so the scatter won't be all too much. Over here, we got the mobile assault. Potentially not so much, I would say. Export that may be good. Artillery cover could be some good uh, assistance. Air supremacy, I'm not facing any against OKW, so air supremacy is not very good. The mortar cover is actually not half bad. I don't think it needs spotting and just barrages the area with fire. So, this is potential actually. Mortar cover, primarily focusing on mortar cover rather than air supremacy. If it just sounds like that sound is a little bit too. That's good. That's that's about right. At least I think it's, that's about right. Over here we do got lightning ward. That's always powerful. Uh, mechanized salt. Don't really see that too much on this uh, map. Bigger armor potentially. When operations, no. Same thing with I said a previous artillery. Not exactly a good map for it. Spearhead, no. You see a lot in placements potentially. So. Good reason. We got MG42 being set up here, which will suppress these. Uh, this Vicar team, so it gets too close to the AR behind heavy cover, so they do have the advantage. We got an austere sniper over here, and let's see what was the last one for this guy. Jaeger armor. So we got dual Jaeger armor, so most likely we'll see one of them locked in. This map's large enough for the uh, elephant effect. Uh, the guy's not actually behind heavy cover, though I think the Grenadier is actually walking up to that point. In a heavy cover spot. Nope, they're not. We got three Grenadiers for one player, two Grenadiers and a sniper. Over here, do got a Soviet sniper that is an excellent counter to the Austere sniper because it has two members. However, the incendiary round could actually double tap him before it gets her shot off. You got. Uh, now, first squad of penals going out with two combat engineers into conscript into sniper. I guess. A bit of an unusual build order. If you, if you see the conscript, you usually don't see the second combat engineer, so that's a bit confusing. And we do got oh, triple vickers as well as medics for them to heal it up. They could you could honestly leave that one out of medics down to one man and just have him stay back in base and start healing up. Do we got the austere snipers start picking away? Currently claim two kills, most likely both of them conscripts. We do got sandbags being built. MG team be right here. So we do got a very MG spammy UKF player. This would be very problematic. The expression's not as good as in comparison to the MG42 against single target, but against area target seems a little bit better. That's generally what I believe, I think. And we do got this guy down to one member. The Soviet sniper need to let the... Uh, was dancing around, didn't, wasn't lining up a shot. If he would have actually stayed in the cover, opponent will hold fire, then his aim time would be zero, allowing him to get a quick pick off. So that was very poor management by the Soviet player with his sniper. He could have easily got that austere sniper. V42 is in range, something you 
while this range is not true, if you go ahead and click on the unit itself, then it'll show you the true range based on the positioning of the gun itself rather than the building. Yeah, Pino's coming on now. Wait. Okay, he just he just uh, side tech two is tier two, so he will have access to all of his early game options. He's going for a mortar team. He's to displace displace any MG team, which that's not a huge problem. There's only two MGs versus the three MGs. Actually, now two. Nope, he reclaimed this one. So three MGs of the F player. Really don't like them being separated like that. Oh, well. I just select them all, but nope, I did not select it when it's in a building. We have these pinos behind the line. Uh, capture the fuel. He's actually going to run into this, run towards this building, intercepting the NG team. Not sure how he spotted that, or maybe it was just lucky that he was actually trying to get in this building. This, while there is a very open area out of this uh, barn door. No, no units can actually fire out of it. Ooh, Austria Sniper in a very exposed position. There could be a very good, uh, good amount of hits onto the unit, but it looks like rolling a bunch of misses. I do hear a Mortar Pit now out, which we spotted it earlier, just haven't made a mention of it. Which will barrage the area, thinking the MG team is still there, but it is not. It's already displaced. Shoot it. From Shoot and Scoot is meant for artillery shooting then move to repositioning to another area preventing any counter fire but ultimately the same thing when it comes to the mg team india's war keeps hold of the northern section there's these people still behind the lines so wreaking a little bit of a nuisance not a havoc but just a nuisance at this point we got the first 222 now out in this armored scout car Got some LMGs coming out online. Move far. I see a rifle grenade coming out. Out. We'll get a very good hit there. Gets the two front models to severely damage the back model. But and the grenadiers are not suppressed right now. But they did not get any good hits. We got the spare munitions from the uh, UKF player. Seeing he's not investing in infrastructure based play, he's going to invest into mines. I would have liked to see a six pounder by now. I do definitely need a six pounder quickly take out that two five one blame half track but there are plenty of mines oh he may he's lucky that he decides to immediately try to fall back if he were to try to try to circle around the area he could have hit this mine as well we'll probably get out those civilian damage could be taken out by gunfire but he will not very good mortar hits he needs to fall that squad back too low in health to be any true effective you will need a buffer squad in front of him to be any effective. We do got a med bunker coming on out. We do not have a med bunker here. Pioneers could build one. He's a little bit short on munitions at the moment. Have we got a pack 40 coming on out. A very reasonable AT option. Most likely he's expecting either of these players to go for either the AEC or the T70 or SU-76. All the possibilities. We do, in fact, have the tech structure here for the Soviet player. This individual does, in fact, have enough fuel for any option. The SU-76. I sort of prefer going SU-76 over the T-70 if I have plenty of anti-infantry anti out on the field. The SU-76 could be an alternative AT option instead of the ZIS because it can come reasonably early to take on other light vehicles. And it's also a great option if you're going for a Tier 1 base play. Get a couple SC 76s out, and they can they they can punch a weight above their class, but only when group facing a two v two versus one situation. Got this MG forty two team very good position, though he could try skirting around the edge of the vision around if he knows about it. He probably does not know. About and half track still repairing, but is in range. Conscript should focus on the Pioneer squads because they will receive massive receive they have receive accuracy penalties while repairing and damage and uh, receive damage. I believe. Yeah, we do not have any AT grenade. He does 
a death, but that's only affecting one squad. He still has penals as well as a sniper, so he's plenty of infantry possible. Very simple squad. There goes a, there goes that uh, engineer squad. I heard, I saw one of these guys disappear. The engineer, the engineer squad. Not sure where he went down. Maybe went down from my face. I just wasn't paying attention. Nope, he's all penal mo models on scripts, so maybe not. SC-76 going very close. Will of course take two more shots in order to destroy it. Do got the uh, Ford Assembly. Why did you just get down the name down here? Ford Assembly coming on up. Most likely, I am for Ford or Tree Point. I'm not sure why else he would build it right there. It doesn't inspire any, any nearby emplacements. It's a little bit farther back. He could have built it a bit farther forward. Here would be a bit just as safe, and so it can also inspire this nearby nearby mortar pit. But Assuming he's going to upgrade this for a tree point, why else he would get it? On top, we do got an S minefield set up, so that will wreak havoc to anything that's not an engineer. We've got a Cromwell coming on out as well. We've got the first medium tank queued up. Over here, we do have still only two, uh, Battle Phase 1. Battle Phase 2 has been researched for this individual. Grandiers, they do of course have the LMG upgrade so they can fight reasonably even with only two windows being shown. Who is still out and about? You got the lock in of the Lightning War Doctrine, which of course we have seen the M the G43 is already came down online. We do also got the minesweepers here. A very lucky uh so maybe not exactly lucky, you usually want to send your weak combat and just uh capture up the summon anyways. But it's really going to come in handy seeing he spotted these S mines before they did anything. Yeah. Oh, this Grenadier squad has a flamethrower. That yeah, must have been the other combat engineer that must have gone down. That we, I noticed, I saw the thing uh, get killed off up here. So it must have been equipped for Flamer and dropped the Flamer as well. Ooh, that's really not good. But it's on an LMG team. Grenadiers with LMGs are not exactly. LMG plus I mean, it's not exactly a good combination. Oh, but the sniper the sniper may get uh, left out to dry. He's quite a bit of damage. We lost one of the models with so this 90 manpower bleed. It be fixed. We do got the uh, flame half track falling on back. Has received a couple shots. Maybe not know where it's been based on the fire. We've got a teller mine being built up here, so that will snag any light vehicle. And we do got the Cromwell now made itself for view. Do looks like a Panzer Faust did in fact make contact. That won't do all too much. And this uh, MG bunker has been spotted as well, and that will get uh, quickly destroyed. Ooh. That uh, Carmel could have easily ran over all the S mines, but the Royal Engineers were way too close, and you will initiate a repair. The one man would take quite a bit of time to repair. We do not have any additional tier structures by this. Even using his allies' med bunker, so he's a bit low on munitions. He's been spending it probably on those mines. Oh, sniper just barely gets out of there. Reconnaissance flight ready at your disposal. We now have access to additional battlefield options. 
We got another Doctrine Lock-In, the Jaeger Armor Doctrine, which of course gains access to the Elephant Command Tank, Stuka Dive Bomb, Spotting Skulls, Regal AT Mines, and the Reconnaissance Overflight. He is not the one with the the half track, so he won't be able to lay down Regal AT Mines. He has a TK. This mortar team very close to the penals, but most likely with a shot blocker will cause the mortar team to get some very good hits. We do got to, oh that mortar, like I said, very close range, some very good accuracy, gets a four man model kill. Oh, the teller mine. The teller mine's not there anymore. How did that happen? I don't see any detonation, so it must have been cleaned up. We got an engine snare on the Cromwell, which is very problematic. We do got a Panzer for it being completed. And another one, he's actually approaching that field for another one as well. Got a couple good AT gun shots. He could reposition one to one that could reposition here. Allow him to shoot across the river. The Cromwell needs to swing wide and avoid that type of arc. A 2 to 2 here. The 2 to 2 has little fear of reprisal. He can, the 2 to 2 can actually take out that Cromwell. It has its main gun destroyed. Light, AT, gun, gun, AT gun is lining up a shot, but this one claims a kill before first. And the 4 is now out in the field with nothing contested other than an SU 76 and a lot of AT mines. But mortars are starting to raid on in, and these guys are way too close to these AT mines. That's way too. Of a patch of of uh, teller of these uh, mines, one here. Yes, I can see that because with the bunker here forces tunneling around here. And perhaps maybe one here, but you don't need two here. So this mortar team will be forced back by the penals. We do still got the Soviet sniper still alive. Hasn't done all too much. Still veteran C zero. That red sniper is still alive at 10 kills. Hasn't done an extreme amount either. But we'll start piking away his opponent now. And he's just out of range of the Soviet sniper. If he's paying attention, he could easily go forward. There's a lot of cover and concealment for him to move forward and get a, get a kill off of that uh, sniper. Got some Panzer Grenadiers now out on the field. They're in a, the Axis players are in a very good position after taking out that first Cromwell. The second Cromwell is now out. What do we have for tech options for the Soviet player? He has tier 4 built. Get SU 85. That may be a good choice. Get a Tusha. Oh, there goes. Oh, I saw a squad disappear. Or you can go for Katusha. All S uh, T34, 285, all good options. It's another SU76 when he has tier 4? That's I don't agree with. It was indirect fire. Go for Katusha. But you got the AT guns trying to hit this bunker. This uh, SU-76, I believe, is on top of a mine, so just be very careful. Stug's not moving forward. We'll get a hit onto the SU-76. Did not detonate the mine. Mine's right there. Ooh, there goes his only squad of infantry, infantry section, which means he has no more healing. He's going to have to rely on the Soviet HQ for healing. You got the Royal Engineers repairing the Karma in middle of combat. The Panzer IV is down to one shot away from death. We do got an AT gun here as well. We got, I'm guessing they're storing up the fuel for their heavy Collins. Because they can get easily get a Panzer IV. And by the time that one's out, they can get another two Panzer IVs. They could easily get another four Panzer IVs. Four Panzer IVs. In the next three minutes. Four minutes. So... 
I would say that would be actually a bit of a better alternative than just waiting for the heavies. Point. That field Control pressure thing. now. Your opponents wouldn't be able to handle that many uh, as a force. Those so we do see the cancel of the SU-76 obligated for SU uh, Katusha 86 or T. That number. We got the two vickers in the houses here. We'll suppress quite a bit of units. We got the this vickers have been claimed by the austere player. Shraj will reign in death. We'll force back these MGs. We got the sniper still alive at 15 kills, but we'll be forced back. The penals could run in there. Excuse me, run them down. We got a lock in as seen by this glider that's being deployed. We got the commando regiment as well as Soviet industry. I would like to see some repair, repair uh, bays for the left team, the allies, so they can get a uh, field presence much greater. And the commanders will drop in right behind these SMG team. We'll be immediately forced to fall back. We could see a uh, predictive gammon bomb to wipe it out, but we do not. Those are very hard to land. We got this pack going to be circled around. Do we have the, the Panzer IV is almost fully repaired? It's good enough, really. I got the Panzer IV now coming in to save the day. The pack team could just go ahead and set up there. Do got a Panzer Faust coming on out. Pack team is setting on up, but that blocks the movement of the Panzer IV. 40 these while affected at cl close range, they have nothing versus a five man squad of commandos. They're going to get overwhelmed. Panzer Grandeur is an excellent counter to them. Panzer Force is now going to be rushing forward. This Cromo is not in prioritized fire. We will be resulting. Ooh, he's trying to prevent them from claiming the uh, six pounder. You see some very good hits. One pound of house away from death if he so chooses. Stug does get the killing, uh, killing blow, but the killing. Oh, how to put it? We got to reduce the health down to zero while the Panzer IV stole the uh, got the kill because it got the last shot in. Not killing blow, knockout blow by the Stug and killing blow by the Panzer IV. There we go. Order team will be decrewed. We do got the Zwicker teams receiving quite a bit of fire. We do got the eight, the rifle grenade and trying to kill off the gunner, but he does not. But he will damage enough. He will secure this mortar team for his own usage. But the pioneer squad as well. The mortar team needs to fall on back. Could see a satchel charge upon it. Try to uh, prevent it from being claimed. But he will get suppressed down. Ooh, the mortar pits raining in havoc. 13 kills. Two shots of veterans. He does wipe out that MG team. Got the SU-85 out on the field, so we got ample amount of AT by the Soviet player. British player getting a centaur? Oh, you need AT. You have plenty of anti-infantry in the form. Oh, you've lost a lot of stuff. You have plenty of anti-infantry in comparison. And he actually did drop the uh, MG-42 there. It's quite big. Now you could just... I don't know, upgrade it to Anvil and get uh, Heavy Engineers and voila, very effective LMG team. Do you in fact have two friends on this commando squad? Command commandos can move and shoot with the friends, so they're actually quite potent. But personally, I think it's not worth You don't use it for a long range, so you don't have... The eventually doesn't grant access when you receive accuracy bonuses, or at least not when not when they're not retreating. But I really don't I don't really don't like uh Brens on the commandos. It's just not too effective. You got the flame half tracks still alive. We'll probably burn these combat engineers alive. They would not they would not escape out. That was a freshly built squad. Actually that one had a mine, one had a minesweeper, one had a flamer. Now this one has a flamer, and that one had nothing. So he's lost a lot of combat engineers. Oh gosh, took a dive bomb. 
Ooh. We'll almost kill off the MG team. And I think actually did damage to the sniper. That's pretty much it. We do got the SU-85 and SU-76 now moving on forward. We get two decisive hits wiping out that uh, Panzer IV. There is an AT gun here for support, so you won't be able to push any farther forward. But there are AT assets. You don't really push them too far forward. We do got this 222 aim being engaged. He could get taken out by rifle fire. He's that low on health. We do have the SU-85 lining up shot. We'll destroy the two. Air supremacy is now available. We do got another uh, squad of commandos coming on in. An elephant tank destroyer is ready to be deployed. An elephant tank destroyer is ready to be deployed. Do got the super close air support coming on in. But there is a centaur. That's actually why he went for the centaur. He saw the G43s. Now I see why he went for the centaur. He needed the anti-air asset to destroy the enemy aircraft. These aircraft are vulnerable to the anti-air. Look, now both those aircraft are destroyed, reducing the effectiveness of the super close air support. Now that makes a bit more sense, getting that centaur. Ooh. I guess found was another squad of engineers went down. Luckily, they have repair bays. They're a little bit too far forward. I would say right around here would have been a better spot. Now there's a substantial amount of repairs for the Allied team. There's still a heavy amount of AT available for the Axis players. There's one Stug, one Elephant, and that's it. And a couple packs. You got a Panzer Warfare, however. We have some rocket artillery. I haven't been revealed yet. So if he can be, he could wait up for his first shot. Be very devastating. Most likely the the uh, you. Uh, oh, there goes Grenadier Squad. Oh, to the Katusha, not by gunfire. The Panzer Warfare, the first Panzer Warfare shot may be overlooked due to the fact there's a Katusha already out on the field. So the UKF player probably, oh, he's firing his Katusha, and holy crap, that's a Panzer Warfare. We got a Tiger tank now out on the field. This is a heavy amount of armor for the Axis players. But losing both of those MG teams as well as that Grenadier is a quite a bit of loss of manpower. Or field presence. He could have he went from another squad of Grenadiers. He could have got a squad of Panzer Grenadiers. G43 Panzer Grenadiers have been buffed, so they're now excellent. And that Centaur is one shot away from death. A Stug will roll and miss. And Elephant could force fire the ground trying to eye for a shot, but he will not. Not a team tiger. A regular tiger's now moving on forward. It was like a squad may have been wiped out there. I saw the word pin. Yeah, I see. That's the Soviet sniper team. Both squads of commandos are still alive. Two eighty five is has its days number. There's a huge amount of eighty eight tank assets bearing down upon it. SU seventy six is one shot away from death. Tiger tank lining up shot will result in the death of the SU seventy six. SU eighty five will be forced back one shot away from death as well. We do got air supremacy being called on in. I think based on the circle, you know it's coming forward. You got a flock Ponzer available. But these bombers are up too high for an anti-aircraft fire to hit. Ooh, just barely stay out of the circle. Those those pioneers were one, like two, three meters, four meters away from death. We got a ZIS coming on out for anti tank support, as well as SU-76. Nice, T-34-76. He needs to store up his man. He could have stored up his manpower for the KV2. KV2, when in siege mode, it's actually quite good versus even other tanks. Just not exactly good versus fast moving targets. We got the Shug as well as the elephant tank in the northern area, as well as this Flock Panzer. Ooh, there goes the T 3476. 
the armor's trying to move northern flank. So the two C, uh, BPs are secured for the allies, and they do have ticket superiority by approximately 100. Aircraft gets shot down. I'm not exactly sure what it was. Ooh, one shot away from death, or at least not flat pounds are shot away from death. And there goes that repair bay to the Tiger tank, but it did hit a mine, so it is has the engine snared. SU-85 could try to take it down. It is engine. It's very low in health. Its engine's damage could run. Try to get it down. Stupid bomb strike is coming on in. Oh, this is going to be a nasty hit here. I would imagine this mortar pit would have took more damage than that. That was nearly a direct hit upon it. So every time it gets sorry, veterans day, I think it's health goes up. That's maybe one reason why. Tiger tank one shot away from death. You definitely have focus sight. We got another air supremacy came on in due to quite a bit of damage, and he will manage to take out the tiger tank, but gets abandoned. We do got a snared engine here. I, that was from a satchel charge. Now the there goes another abandoned allied Axis tank. Will this also be abandoned as well? Just are raining on in. Two flock ponzers on the field. He does have the elephant, so he does have plenty anti-tank. He will not get the shot off with the with the uh the uh, Pans uh, Panzer Shrek to take out that uh, assault gun. He could have stuck it out. He could easily take a model two to make sure it's secured death. Now, I think that's a AT gun. We'll actually find it. We do got a Panzer Warfare Barrage coming on in, which will suppress and force back those squads of Royal Engineers. No squad of Penals now being put on the front line. He needs the KV two. He needs a heavy tank of his of their own. Though it. Can reasonably fight the tiger tank. Like, you really can't fight for the uh, elephant tank destroyer. It's a little bit too late for a swarm of T 34 76. We've got this firefly pitching us some damage. Elephant tank destroyer does get a very good hit on the firefly. We'll force it back. And these brand equipped commandos will be forcing back these uh, grenadiers. Center tank has been uh, repaired and put back out on the front line. You see, uh, he's halfway from missions for the stupid close air support. We won't see that anytime soon. We got another firefly that is another that is a necessary option they're fighting against a lot of armor you really need a good counter to the tiger tank as well as the elephant while the sherman fireflies and not like great versus the elephant at least can uh, have more mobility than the elephant really. another vicar teams did in fact go down trying to force fire and to force destroy the the uh maxim this Grenadier squad, however, may in fact, will in fact go down. Another dropped LMG. So we could see dual MG42 uh, Rogo Engineers. And upgraded to Heavy Engineers. And voila, triple LMG uh, Rogo Engineers without a single brand or Vickers. Two Oswins now repositioning and engage the squad of commandos. Elephant tank has sustained, still has sustained quite a bit of damage. Fireflies are slowly picking away at them, but these two awesome ones will wreak havoc to any advancing infantry squads. Richard Barrage coming on in. This will be an excellent spot if it hits these squads. One good mortar does, did do quite a bit of damage. There goes one of the pioneers. And no, an Oswin? It's. He crewed, abandoned. Always that one. But still, oh yeah, 
that tiger tank was abandoned and I think he reclaimed it. Did he take, did he have enough fuel to rebuild call another tiger tank? Probably not. We had two tiger tanks. And what was that line that uh, elephant said? I think they spotted us, but that's not a big surprise. We're elephant. Mine was stealthing on in. I just spot this elephant. He has seen there's nothing repairing it, and it's still pretty low in health. So that is a this is very, very valuable information. And the more teams are now going to get some very good. Uh, Okay, so we do got the ambush, but he may in fact get taken out because they're very stacked up. Panzer IV gets a nice hit, and Oswind as well. Is this here trying to show how to fight against infantry, I guess? And he has re reclaimed that MG42. Now that's a dual LMG 42 Grenadier squad. That is a very potent squad. It's a bit low in health, but you can always use the med kits for that. May see a gamma bomb here. Elephant does did get a nice hit on the uh, centaur. The, that other commando squad may in fact go down. In fact, it does. That's all of his assault infantry. Neutral barrage coming on in, trying to hit these. And Vickers teams. And we'll in fact get the repairing pioneers. We'll uh, stall the repair out. It is about two shots away from death from the fireflies. We do got as well as tulips on both these fireflies. So we do got a, a potent amount of stuns available. Hopefully saving up the manpower for the KV2. Fireflies moving forward, has fired a couple shots, will force these guys back. Let's see the elephant still alive, he's all the way back at home. Actually not at home, but he will in fact get a, a kill off one of the fireflies. His main gun's destroyed, however. Tulips? No! He needed tulips! And the force is going to try to circle around with a slow rotation guard and pretty good hit here from the AT gun. And he did not take out any of the Axis armor. He could have got tulips off and killed off the fire, the elephant, or killed off the Panzer IV at least. That's very problematic. He's basically lost everything. He has a mortar pit. What's left of the engineer squads? That's it. He's building another firefly. He can. He has enough fuel for another. The KV2 is now out on the field. This is a potent. Asset once set up in siege mode. Up in siege mode. This probably is a good spot for him, though he does lack a lot of vision right here. Yeah, he is setting it up now. Our grenade comes on out. We'll not decrew the Maxim. Yeah, I think I hear Panzer Warfare. Panzer Warfare came on in, tried to prevent that capture that, that Maxim, but Roar was a large miss. He, the uh, UKF player could claim both of these Vickers. Looks like he is, based on the movement of Angle Advance. And that is claiming a lot of anti infantry assets when he really does need something. You got to. S mines being deployed out, but they do get a large detonation right there. There's still a handful up front. Losing a large number of those is a bit problematic. Yeah, what's that storm? You got storm ponds of Brumbar now being built on the front line. I would say with two Oswin. Oh, he only has one Oswin now. Never mind. I was going to say two Oswins, probably plenty for that, but he already. This person does have two Panzer IVs. Probably is a good mixture, I guess. It's hard to tell what's a good mixture when you have that many vehicles.
Last of those S mines may have just been detonated. Yes, it looks like they, the rest of them has been detonated. We got these pedos now moving forward, but they're going to get ripped apart. He can't really, he can't really put down a uh, satchel charge. He may try. He in fact is trying. Who not get it off? Just too much anti-infantry fire. Crusher barrage coming on in, trying to this ED crew these uh, AT guns. Deers down the one man, but I think he's running forward in order so he can get out of the uh, kill zone of that. And there goes that Grenadier squad. It was the dual LMG one. Well, it's still in favor of the Allies. They have a substantial amount more tickets right now. And even sending out some harassment to the northern side and southern side. Northern side. I would like to see perhaps more infantry units by this red austere player. They need more capping squads. They've lost too many capping squads. There's a plenty of anti-tank at the moment. Uh, base vehicles. So we will need anti-infantry. More anti-tank as well. Yes. Well, he does stuff the elephant. He has two Panzer IVs. So that's a pack. For sure. I would say Panzer Grenadier is probably a good option. Because you're fighting against penals as well as Royal Engineers Commandos. Grenadiers not so much. Another MG42 claimed by Royal Engineers. Elephants going to be moving forward in order to gauge these fireflies. One decisive shot comes on in. Storm Pounds of Broom Bars coming on out is not complete. Now let's make short work of any AT option. There goes the Centaur. Super close air support now has free reign of the skies. These conscripts, nope, the building does not in fact go down. Panzer Warfare Barrage takes out quite a bit of members on that Vickers team. This one has been decrewed. This gun is very low in health. And you got a bit of a track jam. Do got the... Here comes Stuka Close Air Support. This can't be devastating. You can take out this Sherman Firefly, no problem. Yes, this first aircraft is in fact taking it on. No, it's hitting the KV-2. It does in fact get shot down. Another centaur tank. That's why we see another centaur tank. It probably would have been better for the. You know, he doesn't have enough munitions. The Soviet player. It's cheaper than the centaur tank to get a M5 and upgrade it to a M16. But he doesn't have enough munitions for that. So that Barrage iron to displace these grenadiers. So far, rolling a bunch of misses. Does get one model there. Last barrage coming on in. We'll get severe amount of damage in, but not enough to displace the squad. We repair bays. This KV2 will get repaired up in no time. One SU-85, he's getting a T-34-76 now. I would say another SU-85 may be a bit preferable, but this elephant starting to get some vectricity. Prove severely problematic. Ability, rate of fire, accuracy, and frequency. So, we will get a substantial amount of rate of fire bonuses. Barrage coming on in, but first armor targets will do a bit of damage, but nothing critical. We'll take out that uh, 
bunker. That was a large mist there. And they're trying to get behind this building. I need to shoot down enemy aircraft. Ooh, and the elephant does find a very good shot there. With the spotting scopes, you can see very far. Even though it has been set up, it's in siege mode. We're rolling this, however, there. We'll get a good hit there. And do I hear something about an airstrike coming on in? Dive bombs now coming on in. This will be very problematic. We do got a nice stun shot onto the uh, elephant. We'll decrew the Vickers and the Zis with that air. Dive bomb. North side, just some infantry squad. When the Pinos, in fact, get taken out, it was a veteran C1. Minor laws. You got a uh, firefly going down. Another Panzer IV gets abandoned. So many abandoned vehicles for the Axis side. On the north side being secured by the allies. We, however, got this also when to displace these units. Raj on to kill off these guys. Who in fact killed it off? We got Katusha Barrage coming on in, doing quite a bit of damage to these Pioneer squads once again. We'll wipe out another squad of Pioneers. And Engineers just die this game. One, two, three. I think the... Yeah, he barely managed to get out. We got another T-34-76 coming out on the field. I haven't really seen them all too, do too much. They're better in groups. Ooh, and it's Cave 2 doing some great amount of work. And it looks like rolling miss after miss. The, the elephant. Another Katusha Barrage. There goes another Engineer Squad. At least a couple models. Not so sure. Two of those actually. Oh. There goes that one. At least one of them went down. <laughs> and there goes that Engineer Squad. Can Engineers just not die in this game? If this T-3476 gains a star of veterancy, that would be excellent. Or it can then go around and capture itself and worry, not worry about these MG teams. I get the kill there. Far from one star of veterancy, however. Is this the same Panzer IV that's been abandoned? I think so. Oh, he will kill off that machine gun crew, and that will give him quite a bit of veteran C. If he gets a little bit more, that veteran, that one ability will really come in handy. We've got these fireflies now moving on forward. We got the claim of this squad here, but he has received quite a bit of fire and splitting up his fire as well. We'll lose it when he could easily take out any of these Panzer IV. 
course. We got this one still alive. He needs a hit. Needs to get something. He could. There's a lot of good targets. I just don't really know what to say. Daipon just landed. I'm not sure what it hit exactly. T34 76 is here. But we'll claim the elephant. This uh, tiger tank's now his main gun destroyed. Those air support coming on in. It was a point blank miss there, and we'll get taken out by the super close air support. We got some stun shots from the J87s. And they're trying to move forward. I think perhaps a ram is in order. This guy is, has the stun symbol as well as moving. Ram may be necessary in order to save this SU-85. Carmel's almost dead. We got the air supremacy operation. Here goes the broom bar. The Panther is still alive. He needs ram. OP will in fact take out the Panther before it takes out anything else. But this Tiger tank is very problematic as well. This Panzer IV uh, Panther, I mean. Panzer V Panther. You perhaps will see, yeah, we will in fact see a satchel charge, which will snare the engine. Oh, actually, use the entire squad in order to claim this is this, trying to prevent this uh, to go down. He's not in uh, packing up, They're doing quite a bit of damage to these infantry squads. Currently, the tickets are down to 16. There needs to be more tickets claimed. He's just currently backing up, going back and forth, trying to stay out of this gun line of fire in order to take out this. Team. We got some smoke coming on down from this nearby mortar team. That's very unexpected. What is this, a uh, British unit? Nope. We force fire on the ground. Carmel gets some very good, uh, nice close range penetrating hit. We'll in fact take it out. It goes assist, however, but enough VPs have been claimed, even though so many reclaimed and abandoned vehicles by the Axis side, the Allied team still managed to pull out ahead. This is Ajon saying thank you for it. Signing off.